Hi, I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. In this video, I'll share five PowerPoint slide design hacks for beginners. These are simple and quick hacks that designers use to take ordinary slides like this into impressive slides like this in a matter of minutes. Let me show you what those hacks are and I highly recommend that you follow along with me by opening up PowerPoint. I'll take this simple and commonly used slide layout and I'll show you how those five hacks can make this slide improve. This is how pretty much every slide looks when you have your title and content layout. What many presenters do to improve the look and feel of this slide is to go to design and they try to apply some design theme. For example, I can apply any of these design themes that come as part of PowerPoint and of course the slide does look better, but then you're not the only one with this slide design. Pretty much 99% of the presenters who want to improve their slide design try to apply these design themes and therefore the moment you have your slide look like this, your audience automatically tune out because they have seen this kind of slides a million times before. So the first thing I recommend is don't use any of these design themes because they've been overused. Instead, you try to improve the look and feel of your slides by following these simple ideas. The first idea is ditch the default layout. Instead of using the default style of arranging your bullet points one below the other, try to use separate text boxes to place your points. Let me show you how that works. Let me go to a new slide. Let us have the same title as we saw earlier. Let me press Ctrl C and go here and press Ctrl V. Now I'm going to ditch this layout. So I'm going to right click and go to layout and go to title only layout. This is the layout that I use pretty much all the time. I never use the title and content layout in my presentations. Let us go to our bullet points. Let me take the first one. Let me right click and copy. Then go to the slide and press Ctrl V to paste it. And then let us increase the font size to 20 so your audience can clearly see your text. Let me readjust the size of this text box and let me place it over here. You repeat the process for the remaining three points and you will have a result that looks like this. Now we have four different text boxes with their individual points. Now if I separate these points with a simple design of dotted lines, let me see what kind of difference does it make. Let me go to lines draw a simple line here by holding the shift button down and let me draw a line like this. Then let us go to shape outline, go to weight and increase the weight to one point and then go to shape outline, go to dashes and use this dotted line and then go to shape outline again and use this light gray color. Now there is a clear separation between the points on the left and the right. Let us make a copy of this by pressing control D and then go to rotate and say rotate right 90 degrees and I'm going to place this over here and then hold the shift button down as I extend the dotted line like so. Now we have a simple and elegant design with four different points neatly separated by these dotted lines. Since this design looks different from the default design your audience is bored of, it is likely that they will pay attention to this slide rather than this slide. Now let us try to take the slide design to the next level by following the second hack, which is to distinguish the title. The title is probably the most critical part of a slide and therefore you need to distinguish the title from the rest of the body content. A simple idea to make your title look distinct is to use a different font than the font that you use for your body content. For example, I can choose my title here and use a font that is thick and distinct from the usual Calibri and the one that I wish to use regularly is Tucson MT Condensed Extra Bold. And now you can see that my title is distinct from the body. The next thing I can do to make the distinction even more pronounced is to use a rectangular bar beneath it. So let me go to Auto Shapes Gallery, pick up the rectangle tool and draw a rectangular bar like so. Let me go to Shape Outline and say No Outline and let us use a different fill color. Go to Shape Fill and use a different color like this. And you can even use a gradient to make this bar look even more attractive like this. Now let me right click and send this to back and adjust the position of the rectangle. And then we can have a different font color so that the text is clearly distinct. So let us go to home, go to font color and use white font color. Now if I compare this design with the earlier design, you can clearly see the difference. Now to take this idea even further, you can go to sites like pixabay.com, look for gradients or patterns 
And once you find the right gradient and pattern, you can always go back to your original slide, then copy it over here, and then you can crop the design by going to the crop tool here and then use the crop tool so that you can just take the portion that you want. And then you can even extend this from left to right. And once you are happy, you can right click cut this and then go to the shape here, right click, go to format shape go to fill and use picture or texture fill and use picture source and click on clipboard. Since you have already copied this pattern, you now have a different banner design. Now, if I change the font color to black color and let me take a copy of this by pressing control C, let me press control V again. Let me reduce the vertical height of this and then place it over here just for some visual relief. Now, when I go to slideshow, we have a different design. Here I've used a different pattern, added a couple of lines. You can see how this design looks better than this design. So it doesn't really matter what specific design idea you have. As long as you're able to keep your title distinct from the rest of the body content, your slide would automatically look more impressive. Now, once that is done, let us take the slide design to the next level by following the third hack, which is to manage your audience's attention. Managing your audience's attention can be effectively achieved by using purposeful custom animation. For example, instead of presenting all your points in one go, you can present them one by one like this. Can you see here, as soon as you open your slide, we have a design that tells your audience that there are four points that are about to come. So this picks their curiosity and then on a click, we introduce the first point. Since there is a gap for the remaining three points, they stay glued to your presentation. Then on the next click, you present your next point and their attention is still there because there are gaps here. Then on a click, we have the third point and then the fourth point. Now, what I showed you is a simple demonstration of an effective psychological trick called Zygarnik effect, which is about creating a curiosity gap in the minds of your audience so that their attention is sustained till the time you finish your presentation. Another way to manage their attention is to move their attention from one point to the next. For example, take a look at this slide here. We have all four points shown, but then on a click, I draw the viewer's attention to the first point like this. And once I finish my explanation, I click and then draw the attention to the next point like this, then to the next point like this, and then to the next point like this. This is a very simple animation. Let me show you how I did this. This is what I started out with. Let me go to home, go to rectangle tool from auto shapes, and I'm going to draw a rectangle that covers the title. And then let us use a bright color. I'm going to use this orange color, go to shape outline and say no outline, right click, and I'm going to send this to back. Now let me make a copy of this by pressing control C and I'm going to use control V to paste it. And I'm going to place this over here, right click and send this to back. Let us do the same thing again, control V and then place this over here, right click and send this to back. And then let us repeat the process once more and let us keep this yellow bar behind this subtitle text four. Now let me go to animations, go to animation pane so you can clearly see what I'm going to do. First, I'm going to have this enter the scene with a simple wipe animation from left. Then on the next click, I'm going to have this disappear while this one appears. So let me select the same bar again go to add animation and then go to exit animation and say wipe and this time from right. So this disappears on the next click. While that happens, this one needs to wipe from left. So we go to start and say with previous. Now let us repeat the process again. Now on the next click, we need to have this disappear. So let us go to add animation, go to wipe and say this disappears from right. While that happens, we have this one appear. So we have wipe from left with previous. Let us do that one last time. Let us select this, add animation, go to wipe and say wipe from right. And then at the same time, we have this one wipe from left and we say with previous. Now, when I go to slideshow, we have all four points shown. On the first click, I draw the viewer's attention to the first one then this happens, then this happens, and this happens. It's a simple way to manage the attention of your audience and it works every single time. Once that is done, let us take the slide design to the next level by using relevant icons. 
Icons help you to add the necessary visual cue to help your audience understand and remember your information better. Studies have shown that your audience improve the recall of your information significantly when you add a visual cue to your text. So instead of presenting your slides with just the text element, add icons like this. Let me show you how I designed this slide. This is where we started. Let us ditch all the other elements which we don't really require at this point. I'm going to just show you how to create one simple prototype. We have our subtitle text which is made with a separate text box and we have our body content. Then let us go to home. Let me go to auto shapes gallery and pick up the line tool. Hold the shift button down as you draw a straight vertical line like so. Go to shape outline, use black color. If you want, you can even increase the weight to one point. And then let us insert an icon by going to insert icons. If you don't use Office 365 subscription, you can of course find icons from any other source and you can insert them onto your slide. I'm going to just pick up any random icon that I see here and I'm going to say insert. Now we have the icon here and I'm going to place it over here. Just for good order sake, I'm going to select all of these and then let us go to graphics format, go to align and say align middle so everything is properly aligned. Let us go to Auto Shapes Gallery, pick up the rectangle tool and draw a simple rectangle like so and then fill it with light teal color because we are using the teal color theme now. Go to Shape Outline and say No Outline. Right click and send this to back. Now we have our first point shown with icon. Let me select everything and press Ctrl G to group it and then hold the Ctrl button down as we make a copy. Now we are going to call this Subtitle Text 2 and let us select this, right click, go to change graphic and say from icons. I'm going to choose a different icon this time, maybe this and say insert. Now I've created my second one. Let us select both of them, hold the control button down and let us create our points three and four and let us change this to three and then let us change this to four and let us replace the icons by following the procedure that we used earlier. Now I'm going to choose this one and say insert. Let us pick this one, right click, go to change graphic from icons and let us choose some other icon, maybe something like uh, this one and say insert. Now let us select everything and move it to the center like this. Now this looks much better. When I go to slideshow, this is how my slide looks. Now the last idea to make your slide design even better is to illustrate with photos. There are times that your text may not be clear enough for your audience to understand your information completely. A good and relevant picture can improve their understanding significantly. Now take a look at how the same slide looks with photos. The way I designed this is, let me remove all these elements. Let me remove the icon. Let me extend this box all the way till the end. And I'm going to add a square shape that would serve as the picture placeholder. Let me even remove this line here. Let us go to Auto Shapes Gallery, pick up the rectangle tool, hold the shift button down as we draw a square and let me place this over here. Now I'm going to fill this with a picture. To save some time, I've copied the picture here. Now once you have the picture, make sure that you select the picture, go to picture format, go to crop, click on the drop down menu, go to aspect ratio and choose one is to one aspect ratio. That ensures that the picture is square in shape because we are using a square shape for us to create our slide design. Now I'm going to right click on this, cut this, then select the shape, right click, go to format shape, go to picture or texture fill and use clipboard. Now we have one prototype done. If you want, you can even increase the size of this so that we have a much better and clearer photo. Now this looks pretty neat. I'm going to select everything, press Ctrl G to group it and then press Ctrl D so I can make a copy of this and I can place it over here. Now you might wonder why I always create the shape first and then fill it with picture. There are a number of advantages to that habit. For starters, when I have a different picture, I can replace this picture with this picture very easily. Let me right click and cut this. Now that picture is in my clipboard. Let me select this picture and then go to fill. And when I go to picture or texture fill and click on clipboard, now I've replaced the old photo with this new photo. So that is exactly how I created this design. So as a summary, let us see how we started with this default slide design. And then by assigning different text boxes to the individual points, we took the design to this level. 
Then by making our title look distinct, we created this design and then we decided to manage the attention of our audience by using purposeful custom animation like this. And another way to manage the attention is by drawing the attention from one point to another like this. And then we saw how we can improve the audience's retention by adding relevant icons. And then to improve the understanding even better, we used pictures like this. These are some simple slide design ideas that you can use as a beginner and your designs would look far better than the usual designs. And of course, an even smarter way to make even more effective slides with minimal effort is to use our professional templates from comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle version 2.0. This bundle has more than 4,200 PowerPoint templates with purposeful custom animation to make your presentations beautiful and engaging. Now take a look at some example templates from comprehensive all-in-one bundle. This template shows three photos with text. On a click, we have a hand that comes and showcases a picture and the corresponding text. The next one goes like this and the next one goes like this. Let me show you another template. This one shows three points. We have images and the corresponding explanation. On a click, I draw the viewer's attention to the first one like this. Then on the next click, we move the attention to the second one and then we move the attention to the third one. Another example is this, which shows three images and text. We have the first image and then on a click, we show the second image and explanation and then the third image and explanation. If you want to add some simple concepts to your slides, you can do that as well. Here we have a simple metaphor of three targets being reached. On a click, we show our first project which achieved the target and then we show the second project and then we show the third project like this. The last example is showing three different ideas. On a click, we show the first idea, the second idea and then the third idea. All these templates are readily available in comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. All you need to do is to replace the sample text with your own text and your slides are ready for you to present. There is no better way to create such impressive slides with minimal effort than to use templates from our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. I will leave a link to this product in the description box below the video. You can click on the link, come check out more details about this product and if you think that this is the right product for you, you can make a one-time purchase and use these 4200 templates for a lifetime. Finally, as always, if you want to join our 25 Creative Ideas free PowerPoint mini training, you can click on the link here. If you like this video, please give this video a like and share it with your friends and hit the subscribe button to join our 150,000 other subscribers who are taking their PowerPoint skills to the next level by watching our videos. And to watch our latest PowerPoint video, you can click on the link here. So go ahead, click on the link in the description box below the video and check out our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle and change the way you create your PowerPoint presentations forever. Thanks a lot for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.